Hey everyone, I'm Travis Spivey, join my son, Jordan Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will describe and explain the differences in function and purpose of permanent magnets and electromagnets. So, so let's do this. Our learning targets for today are Number 1. I can describe and explain the differences between the function of permanent magnets and electromagnets. And number two, I can describe and explain the differences between the purpose of permanent magnets and electromagnets. Question, what is a magnet? Don't worry, we got you covered. A magnet is an object which is capable of producing a magnetic field and attracting unlike poles and repelling light poles. Look at the following magnet. Notice how there is a magnetic field surrounding the magnet. This magnetic field is what attracts magnetic substances. But I know you're wondering, what makes a substance magnetic? Now that's a great question. Normally, a substance atoms are pointed in several different directions. When you bring a magnet around a substance that is not magnetic, their atoms will not align and point towards the magnet. They will just remain the same and point in different directions. But if a substance is magnetic, all of its atoms will point in the direction of a magnet when you bring it near. Magnets have several properties that you may be familiar with. First, opposite poles attract each other and light poles repel each other. So if there is a north and a south pole, they will attract and come closer to each other. If there is a north and north or south and south pole, they will repel and push away from each other. Second, magnetic poles always exist in pairs. This means that no matter how small you try to make a magnet, it will always have a north and south pole. Third. The force between two magnets is stronger the closer they are. Opposite poles will attract each other more and pull closer together, and light poles will repel each other and push further apart. There are two main types of magnets, which are permanent magnets and electromagnets. Let's discuss permanent magnets first. A permanent magnet is a type of magnet that will always be magnetic and will not lose its magnetism over time. Permanent magnets are composed of highly magnetized hard materials. Their level of magnetism doesn't change and will always stay the same. A good example of permanent magnets are bar magnets. Bar magnets demonstrate the most common magnetic behaviors. They have a north and south pole. Opposites attract each other, meaning that a north and south pole will attract each other. Light poles repel each other, meaning that two north or two south poles will repel and push away from each other. The function of a permanent magnet is to produce strong magnetic fields without having to use electricity to make them work. Since they are permanent magnets, they always work and do not have to be turned off and on with electricity. The most common purpose of magnets is to attract other magnetic substances, but they also have many uses in electronic and mechanical equipment. Permanent magnets are used in computers, motors, cars, generators, headphones, speakers, sensors, and several other electronics. Magnetic strips and fridge magnets are also common uses of permanent magnets. Quick checks for understanding. Number one, what is the function of permanent magnets? Number two, what are some of the purposes of permanent magnets? Pause the video and take three minutes to write your intelligent responses. We know you got this. Now let's move on to electromagnets. So what are electromagnets and how do they work? An electromagnet is a temporary magnet made by winding wire around a soft iron core. When current flows in the coil, the iron becomes a magnet and when the current is turned off, it loses its magnetic properties. Electromagnets rely on electricity for their magnetism, usually through a soft iron core as we stated before. Electromagnets consist of a coil of wire wrapped around a metal core made from iron. When this material is exposed to an electric current, a magnetic field is generated making the material behave like a magnet. The strength of the magnetic field can be controlled by controlling the electric current. Look at the following simple electromagnet. It contains an iron nail, copper wire, and a battery. When you tightly wrap the wire around the nail and attach both ends of the wire to a battery, an electric current is produced. Congratulations, you've just made an electromagnet. Unlike permanent magnets, electromagnets can be turned on and off by removing the electric current. You can also increase or decrease the strength of an electromagnet as well. You can also modify or change an electromagnet's magnetic poles by making the North Pole the South Pole and making the South Pole the North Pole. 
The function of an electromagnet is to control the electric current through it and to control the strength of the type of magnet as well. Basically, it is a magnet you can control by turning it on and off. Some of the purposes or uses of electromagnets include being used in magnetic locks, headphones, loudspeakers, medical equipment like MRI machines, to pick up vehicles and other heavy metals, and the list goes on and on. Quick checks for understanding. Number one, what is the function of electromagnets? And number two, what are some of the purposes of electromagnets? Pause the video and take three minutes to write your genius responses. We believe in you. Let's do a quick recap between permanent magnets and electromagnets. Permanent magnets are permanently magnetized, while electromagnets are temporarily magnetized. This means a permanent magnet is always magnetized and cannot be turned on and off. An electromagnet can be turned on and off. Permanent magnets are magnetic materials, while electromagnets are made of soft magnetic materials. You cannot change the strength of a permanent magnet, but you can increase or decrease the strength of an electromagnet according to your needs. Last, you cannot change a permanent magnet's pole, but you can change an electromagnet's pole. Quick check for understanding. Pause the video and write three differences between permanent magnets and electromagnets. Can't wait to hear all of your smart responses. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are with describing and explaining the differences in function and purpose of permanent magnets and electromagnets by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% or higher for proficiency, record the results of your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you better, better keep, keep going, going because it's not a run until you win. win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan the QR code to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. Peace, and have a positive, productive day. The Great Nick Fury. One last fight.